Let me start this video by telling you a story about a girl named Mina Stein, who's 20 from Frankfurt, Germany. She started taking birth control pills in 2018, and prior to that, her face was always extremely clear of acne, and she really never dealt with skin issues. Mina developed acne as soon as she started taking the birth control pills. It started out with a few faint pimples, but only a few months later, Mina was suffering from painful cysts, swelling of the face, and rosacea, which is a condition causing redness in the skin. Now, Mina said this when she was talking about how it happened. It started developing immediately. At first, I got red bumps under the skin on my cheeks and a few pimples popped up on my forehead. Then the pimples became more painful and my face would swell. I developed cysts and I developed rosacea. I switched birth control pills, but it wouldn't go away. It only got worse. I cried a lot, I'd never really had skin issues before, so I felt totally overwhelmed, and at the time, some of my friends were abroad, and I was so worried about what they might say to me when they came back. I developed really dry skin, which really affected my eyes. I thought I needed glasses as it affected my eyesight, but eye drops managed it. So she ended up trying different skincare brands, and while she had seen some improvement in her acne, it was not cleared entirely, and she now embraces her skin using her Instagram at girlwithacne to inspire others while she posts bare-faced photos, basically highlighting her acne. I think that's pretty rad. She also said, treat yourself the way you treat others. We need to stop criticizing how we look and compliment ourselves instead. Everyone is uniquely beautiful and we should remember that. I think those are good words to live by. And I think it's really cool that she turned this story around from being something that could, you know, ruin her life. She could let it ruin her life, but instead has turned it into a blessing that allows her to help other people. I think that's really cool. Now, from this story, it seems like for some people, birth control can trigger acne that was lying dormant. But in the past, I've heard so many people using birth control to help their acne. Haven't you? Well, what's the true answer? Honestly, it's actually annoyingly confusing at first because birth control can both cause acne as well as heal acne, depending on the person and more importantly, the type of birth control used. Okay, so firstly, how can birth control cause acne? The ovaries and the adrenal glands produce and androgens in your body, it's a group of hormones that signal to the skin to produce sebum. This oily substance, of course, if you're not familiar already, it's secreted by the pores to lubricate and protect the skin as well as remove dead skin cells, but too much oil production can cause clogging of the pores, which then causes acne, something you and I are all too familiar with. Because hormonal birth control affects your hormonal levels, all women have a potential of an initial breakout in the first few months as their body reacts to the added hormones that come from birth control before their body finds in equilibrium. Now, beyond that initial breakout, there are two types of birth control that show different effects on acne. Those are progestin-based birth controls. These are things like implants such as Nexplanon or Jadel or IUDs like Mirena and uh, injection shots like Depo. Those are all the progestin type. And then there is estrogen and progestin combination birth control like the pill, the patch by Zulane, and the ring by NuvaRing. Effectively, progestin versus combination birth control. Those are the two types. Now you guys know me, I love my science. So I dived into the scientific studies that have been performed and it seems pretty clear that combination birth control is the type that shows promise in improving acne while progestin-based birth control made it worse. So an analysis by Cochrane of 31 different studies found that the pill is effective in treating acne, but less is known about how specific pill brands compare in their ability to improve acne. So this basically means that they looked at over 12,000 women's results in these different studies, and they found that combination birth control pills caused improvements in acne, but they didn't find out which brand was the best one, basically. Okay, so by this point in the video, we found out that combination birth control is the type that can help acne, and we found from a lot of different test results that oral birth control pills have improved a lot of these women's acne. But what about the other combination birth control methods, such as the patch or the ring? So as far as the patch goes, there is very little research into how it affects the skin, but among a small group of adolescents who had acne before starting the patch, their acne improved in 33% of the test subjects, it worsened in 17% of the subjects, and it stayed the same in 50% after only seven months of use. So this isn't a clear enough result to decisively say that the patch is good, bad, or neutral for acne. Interestingly, when it comes to the ring, like Nuva Ring, in an analysis of three studies, people using the birth control ring for three to 13 months reported less acne than people using the oral pill. So this may show that the ring is the best combination birth control method for improving acne, but again, 
more research and more studies are needed. Now, this is a growing field of knowledge and we're learning more and more about birth control and how it affects our skin and acne every single day. So this is all gonna change and evolve as we move forward. But something that I thought was really interesting is that the FDA has only approved four different birth control pills for treating moderate acne in females at least 14 to 15 years of age. Those are ortho, tricyclin, estrostep, phi, Bayaz, and Yaz. I don't know how well I actually pronounce those, but those are the four that are approved. If you're on birth control and your acne has gotten worse, what can you do? Well, first and foremost, do not be afraid to talk to your doctor about your concerns. They should listen. They should address your concerns and talk to you about potential solutions. That's why they're your doctor. They're your doctor. You get to talk to them about what you're concerned with. They're on your time, not the other way around. Some of the potential solutions that they might try is having you switch to a different type of birth control pill that's more likely to improve acne or switching to a non-hormonal form of birth control so you just take the hormones all the way out and or using over-the-counter skincare treatments such as cleansers and face lotions and possibly retinoids. Birth control and acne is a much deeper topic than it first appears to be when you think of it and the detail, it really can get pretty overwhelming. So I wanted to do some of the digging for you, find the info, find the research, find the studies that we have and show it to you in hopes that you can leave this video understanding a little bit more about why birth control can help or harm your acne and what ones to discuss with your doctor. This is one of those topics that when I look through YouTube, I don't see a lot of videos that really go in depth about the types of birth control, the types of studies we performed. And really, I just wanted to fill that hole here in YouTube because I know this is a concern for a lot of girls. I know that this topic is really sticky and hard to get into. And I know a lot of people are either looking at birth control to address their acne as a hopeful treatment, but I also know a lot of girls are looking to get on birth control and just want to make sure that they get on the right one that won't cause their acne to get worse. Both of those things are valid and both of those things, I hope I've been able to help whoever it is that's watching this video, hopefully you. So if this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. It helps get out to way more people. And even more importantly, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you ever had any experience with birth control and how it affected your acne? Share it. Tell us the exact brand that you use for your birth control. Tell us exactly what happened, you know, one week in, one month in, a couple months in, because it's a really helpful way for all of us to kind of share with each other and kind of learn from each other's experiences. If you like this, this video. If you like how in-depth it is, I guarantee you're going to like my acne method program. This is a program that I worked on for over a year. And if you thought this video had a lot of research in it, that program has 50 times, 100 times more research, but produced in a way that is very easy to digest, very easy to work through. And by the end of the program, in only 10 weeks, you'll be able to find out your personal causes of acne. And hopefully you'll be able to completely clear your acne like Savannah Lee did in just 10 weeks. That program is only $10. And I do recommend that you get the bundle. So go in the link below, go to theacnemethod.com. It'll take you there. And if you want to know my favorite skincare brand of all time, it's Banish. They have fantastic products, all small batch made, all complete completely natural so you can be confident that the products that you're getting are good for your skin but also effective because they're made in small batches each week so it's fresh when it gets to you. You can use my code BRIAN5 for $5 off and order 50 or more. I'll also put a link to that in the description below. Thanks for checking out the video guys. Let me know if you have any other acne topics you'd like me to discuss and always remember that you are not alone. You are beautiful and you're part of Team Acne. I'll see you beautiful skin bosses in the very next video.